see, we have made the decision to head down towards Mondell for the drift games. It was touch or go last night. The snow was, it came out of nowhere all around the country. Um, woke up this morning and it seemed to have vanished again away from the country. But we've heard it's bad going on down south. We're just kicking through Straban, about to go through Saya Mills now very shortly. We did put it out across the social media to find out what the story was with the, the well around down the country. Apparently it's not good. Apparently it's not that good. But we'll see. We're going to go for it anyway. The main roads should be fine. If it wasn't for our normal council in Northern Ireland, you know, taking a strike in the thickest snowstorms, we would definitely be alright. But hey, it is what it is. We're heading down the way. We'll keep you updated to see what the story is throughout the journey down. And we'll let you know if it does get a bit bad. But pray for us. Let's go. Well, the plans changed just a wee bit, just a wee bit. So, one of the guys I know very well is he's a good man of mine, but he's got a he's got a beautiful Sylvia drift car, it's proper bulk pro spec, nice colours and everything. You'll know the car as soon as you see it. But he's about a 15 minute detour from where we were going and where we were originally supposed to be going to. Uh, but we are going to just take a, a wee detour up and show you this. Put this in the video, sure. Why not? Uh, see what he's thinking. So as I said there, um, you know it's not. This was not on the plan. It wasn't supposed to happen at all. Uh, but we got to be message my fella that I know very well, and he lives in Cavan. I think. I think we're in Cavan. Probably in this neck of woods. That's just the norm for backyards. Multiple IS two hundreds, BM parts, like Ford Galaxy. Why not? Obviously a tractor, and you've got everything. It's not that we came for. Not that at all. We came to see. One week car in particular that we seen in Mondello last year, I think it was, and I had a run out on in Eglinton uh, last year as well, but it's inside there, that shed, you talk about a barn fight. I, for the life of me, don't know how <laughs> he's planning to get that back out anytime soon, um, but it's obviously going to be back on the track, good to go, but if you talk about a barn find, it's right on there, and we'll take you in very soon. You know what's been on here for a while when you see all the stuff just there and you would not expect what you're about to see in here I'll give you a wee quick look and I'm gonna give it an attempt to start it after a long time But there you go, you wouldn't you wouldn't be expecting that on here from Manta Let's see if we can give it a wee start after months of not being So we thought it was just the battery needed sorted there but no, he was like, ah, actually, the flywheel's sitting on the driver's seat. I said, right, well, that's it, chin, basically. No, it'll give me 15 minutes, we'll stick it in, and we'll see if we can get her started. Now, this car hasn't been started since Mondello last year, the last bash, around this time last year. She's just been sitting here, getting worked under ahead of the new season, and hopefully it'll be back on track sooner than thought, but it just... Straight underneath it, the way he goes, straight away. <laughs> Give us about 10 minutes and we'll see what happens. Well, after, what was it, 15 minutes? Not even 15 minutes, it would have been quicker. If, uh, if his wee brawler, he'll hear us and he'll see it in the vlog, had our stuff in the right place. Hey, we took the lid off, just to show you, obviously it's not, it's, it's just in barn mode after a year of sitting on here, but all it needs is a wee, a wee lick, so we'll open this up and see. What way she's going to fire up? Now it hasn't been started in a year, a year literally. 15 minutes of putting the flywheel in, battery connected, hope I don't get bloody bits, but let's go. Mm -hmm. Right, we're going for attempt two, bigger battery, better battery. Hopefully. She was dying date, let's go, let's go. Go on, get the fuck get it. That's it, let's go. We're trying here, we're trying. And there's no panic. No, don't be, don't be. Don't be causing no damage to the thing or nothing. I'll like put that halfway just in case.
this yard is just full of extra cars, set to go, good to go. Looks like nothing, but I guarantee that would bunch off the laminar all day and third. <laughs> all right, nuts. Just about to leave a hotel here now. It's uh. Uh, it's not the best looking out there, but it's not the worst either. You can see a lot of the snow still there. But the main priority and the main issue we're going to have here now this morning, as you shall see from the video and you'll obviously see from the Snapchats and then the other avenues of the social medias, that something went on with the car last night, 20 miles out from the hotel. Um, we're not too sure what it is yet. We don't know if it's the caliber. We don't know if it's the <clears throat> if it's the brakes. We, we're not sure. Could be a wheel bearing. Could be anything. But anyway, we're going to go for it. We're going to find out what the story is and try to get it to Mondello. Uh, and we'll worry about it from there. So it's out there. And we're going to go now and find out what the story is. Let's go. It is absolutely miserable. It's raining. Like we, we knew it was going to be anyway. We've seen it on the forecast what was going to be happening. But it is absolutely miserable down here, well otherwise. But we're about to go now. Still go on the track, show you what's happening. Um, give you a wee bit of excitement on it because the track's still going to be full flight regardless. So we're not going to get any bad tunes. We're going to make the most of it. We're here now. Let's go. Break time down here, everybody's taking a wee bit of a chill out moment. Getting a wee looks at the cars, seeing what's going on. Jesus. That's C220, it looks like an AMG. But as you can tell, everybody's just taking her candy, keeping her handy. We're going to take a wee walk down the pits now, let you know what's happening. Um, basically show you what goes on during the break. Everybody will be sort of rushing, they get drifts fucking fixed, they get the wheels replaced, they get everything happen. So we're going to take a wee walk around the pits now um, and we'll take you then down to the garages. So have a wee look.
It's true, Graf. A fellow trying to get his yacht back out, but he had it going for one hour and the diff. They give up the ghost, um, but the lads are they're working hard. And there's not they say they have a, a tent because they, they don't. They've, oh, they're all the bombers. You might as well. You might as well. And James Broth, the only ratchet we have. Ah, uh, <laughs> Who's James? This James. James. <laughs> James is wrecking the ratchets. <laughs> but when he does get it going and we get up and going, we're going to go for a wee spin out. Now this is what the bash is all about. You can bring S15s, S14s. You can see it all by the eye. Or you can bring one of these. Does the same job. Does the same job. Can he stick these on the rug? Why not? Another one loose. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Get out of there! You let off the handbrake. Somebody's gonna let it off. Oh, somebody's on there, he's just taking it handy. Oh, this is why we call it the bash, boys. She here or what? So you've seen it on the track and you'll see it from the video on the track and also the photos but for me personally you've seen and you're seeing a lot of beautiful cars here your S15s, your R34s, your R33s, you're seeing it all but for me personally 1980 Corolla, look at this wee beaut it has seen a few laps So it's still going well. It had a wee, it had a wee meeting. Um, he said it was the off-road track, which I'll agree. And it's a wee bit, a wee bit dirtier than it was this morning, should we say? <laughs> a wee small bit. But what this thing is, uh, it's up there. Is it open? Ah oh, man, would you look at that? Would you look at that? I mean. Just got the driver's seat, which is set up well for it. Obviously got the steering wheel, but look at the roll cage, and then it's got the original liner, it's got the original passenger seat, original door cards. He drove this here this morning, just to prove it. You did drive this here this morning. You drove it here this morning. Now it's on this kind of a ship. As you can see, the multi everywhere. Um, but 1980 Corolla. And that is even got a red, perfect. Well, we're going to capture some more footage on it, and you'll see it in the photos as well. But for now, let's see how it goes. Let's go. Remember that's 1980, one oh, <laughs> That's not what you're expecting here, but it is the bash. This is why we love the rough game bashes. You would see everything and anything, but that is special. Well, what's happening, Tails? Well, blew the alternator. I didn't blow it, but I was coming down the straight, fourth gear, and then the, the whole thing just went blue smoke. The whole, I couldn't see. <laughs> and it was like burning my face. I was like, what the fuck? And I pulled in, 
And then, like, the amount of smoke coming up the bottom, I was like, what is happening? And what are we sitting at now? Is it sorted? Are we getting it sorted? No, it's just <laughs> unplugged the alternator and the battery. It's just charging off the van just every time. <laughs> so, uh, the wee car's up for it. The yeah, wee car's up for it. Three laps and then dead. So, so you're just bringing her back after the three yeah, laps? Yeah, she's trying to cut out up the street. You're like, oh, come on, please. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It'll still go. The wee faithful will go the best. Yeah, take you out after the lap, yeah. After you hear what he said? We're going out for a wee lap now, straight after on this. So, happy days. We'll see what it's like inside. We're going to do it. We're going to go for a wee lap. Uh, it's a well rounded car. It's we'll absolutely stunning. Uh, exactly. We'll see how long the battery lasts. I'm sorry, the engine. Kind of a bit of a whiny boy in there. <laughs> we seen the. We, we heard the suction earlier on. Yeah. Kind of. Oh well. Just a little. That just makes a cool noise, isn't it? And turbo what's it set it. up like? What? What do you have set up on it? <coughs> um, like power wise? Uh huh. Uh, just under 200, like 190, uh -huh. so. I suppose that's plenty for. I love it. Uh, we're getting a smaller pulley, or is it bigger? No, smaller. Whatever's Hopefully. faster. Whatever's going to be faster. Let's go faster pulley. And, uh, <laughs> We're doing a few extra bits, it's getting a bit of a half rewire on clothes, I think we're And what will you find in the rain out here? Is it yeah. it's okay for something with your power? It's it's perfect, like it's uh -huh. fourth, third and fourth everywhere. Uh -huh. It's fourth flicking in under the bridge and you're like on both brakes, like please slow you're, down. Please you're brave, slow down. you're brave. I wouldn't be going fourth under the bridge. But we'll take a wee spin out now it's after here. the break. Now this is tight, the wee car is tight. I am literally, literally squashed in here. But we're going to take a wee run out in the, the wee MX-5. See how it goes. I forgot your name. Darn. Darn. He forgot the name, this is. <laughs> Dirty draft tape was calling me. That's us, we're buckled on, we're good to go. Everything's tight, the harness is definitely tight. Pull it a bit more, we're going to take a wee run out. The back track, we're going to go to the back track, which is the ADC layout, the ADC run. Oh. Wee Ralph's going to get on now. And he'll get on a lot easier than me, I would say. But we're going to go, give it a spin, see how we go, so let's go. Ruffle me on the ADC this year for a full five rounds. Pro 2. 
Aye, Pro 2, so I'm just letting you know it'll be on the vlog, but if anybody wants sponsors, the big man needs ones, yeah. let's go. You've seen people taking it to an extra extent, doing it that wee bit more up there, going out there. This car's it. That's stunning, I think.
Kevin Conjacks over there, you'll see that in the clips in the video anyway. But it's too wet for him to be heading out at the minute, um, so he's going to be leaving it to see if it dries up a wee bit after the second half. Hopefully, it dries up. My shoes are absolutely soaked, as you can see. So, we'll go down under the pits in the garages um, and see what's happened down around there, and we'll bring you something else soon. See you later. We always get the one, there's always one. Now, the weather is absolutely soaking, it's passing down. And we have shorts. You're a brave boy and you have shorts. Fair play to you. <laughs> There's always the one in the shorts and he, there he is. He's in the pink shorts too, not just any shorts. A key in Adam Bush, you can spot him anywhere. When I was younger, when I first started just this, uh, I first started just this, Good to go? Yeah. Try the best. <laughs> as soon as you can get a time. Crazy. <laughs> Photos here as well. Alright, that was some spin you had out there. Oh, I was. Good yeah. job. That's good. Hope that's all sorted soon. It's going up, right? Yeah, yes. That's the yeah. man. How are things? You well? All good. All oh, good. Man. You? Mate, I've literally, I shit you not. By the way, he's a legend of the scene. Go ahead. I try. I got back from LA like two weeks ago and it pissed it down there and I've come here and guess what? <laughs> so LA was supposed to be good and it's the same. <laughs> Mate, it's horrendous. This is why we've got the best 50 team that bees on site right here. And all the lads are good to go again, full flight. And they'll be going. With two pink yards in a row, you don't see that that often, but you'll see it. Good to go. <laughs> why why pink? Different. Different. Exactly. That's exactly what I said before we even done it. But it's rare to see two pink in a row. Exactly. Do you know him? Yeah. Oh, you've done it for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Class, lad. Happy days. When you see their boys on track, we have some belter pictures of you on this. Right. Plus, we see you being towed down this morning. We caught that as well. Okay, Are you going back out? What time is it closing now? The track? Oh, God knows. Six. That's good. Because it was a big hold up. All good. Chad, you about? One of my favourite cars here on the paddock has to be this. Has to be this. Legends, one spot. This is just his practice car, it's not a, it's just a, it's just for the, a bash, a bash, let's see. But, that 
that is that is proper bias. It's one of those things where you give it a flick and go, yep, that's not going anywhere, that. <laughs> Proper said. The thing lasted all day, boys. All day, the man himself, James Dean, right there, legend. But we're about to bring a wrap on to the final day to see what the story is. There's been ups and downs today, and um, we're just going to come to the end of the day. Should have finished at five o'clock. Uh, it's going to be about extra because of the incident that will happen earlier in the garage. But folks, we're going to wrap it up maybe here, and we will chat these all tomorrow. But we'll end it off with two absolute legends. James Dean, Connor Shanahan, both there. Just casually kicking about. This isn't the drop car, this is the road car. And the boys are really, really doing me a favour here. We know the situation with the car, I've told you the situation with the car, the bearing's gone, it's clapped. They don't know how we drove it for the last 50 miles, but when you're stuck, who comes out to play? Our <laughs> Fraser comes out to play. <laughs> no comment, bro. As I said on the snaps and I'll say on the story, Life gives you lemons, squeeze them. Life gives you problems, solve them. It's all in the love of drafting, it's all in the love of the sport that we do. Let's go.